one year later, cause I had not, um, healed from cancer. I just kept getting sicker and sicker and I just kept pushing for tests, you know, thinking something was wrong or the cancer was back or something like that. And here they're like, oh, well, you've got an autoimmune disease. And they're like, you've got Hashimoto's. I'm like, Hashi what? You know, and and the doctor gave me some, some, you know, thyroid medicine and, you know, scooted me out of the office and I get home and I'm like, wait, what, what, what just happened? And, you know, and, and I'm not comparing or contrasting the, the two, because we all have our different journey for me, cancer was start, stop, you know, I was diagnosed. I went through my treatment and treatment ended. For autoimmune disease, this was basically what I find out, you know, years and years and years later, my body was already at chronic inflammation, you know, disease state. We added chemotherapy on a body that was not draining anything, you know, so I have no drainage pathways that are open. My body is full of chronic inflammation. The autoimmune disease pops up. And then after that, it was years of debilitating chronic fatigue that was so bad that in 2017, I was bedridden and I was forced to resign from my dream job. And that year was, um, I was in victim mode and I just thought that this is how life was supposed to be. 